everyone, we are students of year 5 from the Next Generation School in Malaysia campus. We are excited to share our research with you. Our topic is Human Water, Harnessing the Humidity for a Sustainable Water Supply. Our primary objective of this project is to explore the feasibility of implementing a humidity harnessing technology in Qatar, particularly during the summer season. We need to understand countries like Peru and Chile who have successfully employed similar humidity harnessing methods. Our research project also aims to identify suitable locations for, uh, for installing water dispensing machines with an emphasis on providing a reliable source of pure water. Have you ever thought about how Qatar's rapid growth is impacting its water system? Absolutely, Sophia. Qatar heavily relies on uh, de de desalination due to limited groundwater, especially during scorching summers. Our study revealed that Qatar's workers face heat stress, affecting their health and productivity. We also uh, saw that the soaring water consumption rate in Qatar also adds to the challenge. Our focus is not just on improving infrastructure, but also on implementing climate resilient strategies for a sustainable water future in Qatar. We are diving into the realm of imagination. We've researched, analyzed, and, it's, and now it's time to propose uh, uh, some innovative solutions. Now let's get started with our hypothesis. Our research has led us to a set of solutions that are all aimed at addressing Qatar's water scarcity. The first hypothesis is implementing climate resilient technology. Another key aspect is education. We recommend launching government-led awareness campaigns for the public to educate the public about water usage and the impact of climate change to water resources. We emphasize the optimization of Qatar's desalination plants, investing in technologies to reduce water network losses and implementing rigorous monitoring and maintenance practices. Now, after considering all those hypotheses, our research leads us to believe the most appropriate and innovative solution. We suggest deploying advanced water dispensing machines in, uh, in schools, the industrial areas, public parks, and other communal areas. In further detail, this is how the machine works. First, the humid air gets sucked by the fan, and with the white filter, it gets cleaned. Over there, the air travels through the pipe, and where, that's where the cooling system is. The process of condensation happens, and the humid air gets turned into water. It then gets stored in the large water chamber. The rest of the machine looks and works like a water dispenser. This machine also includes an AI sensor that can sense how much humidity is surrounding the machine. The machine needs at least 60% of humidity to work. The machine, uh, the machine also includes a vent from the outside to get rid of the extra humid air. Now, we will talk about the methodology behind our research work on uh, employing water harvesting from humidity in Qatar. Even though we haven't Im implemented a humid water machine on the ground yet, we thoroughly examine the potential benefits and challenges associated with this technology in Qatar. Now, on to the challenges. Qatar's unique climate poses some obstacles. High temperatures, fluctuating humidity levels, and occasional sandstorms could impact the efficiency of our technology. Verbal interviews were done with various stakeholders to get their feedback on our innovative machine. During our inter-campus and intra-campus science fair, we were able to discuss our innovative ideas with various community members and collect their feedback. We have visited different classes and collected suggestions and recommendations for this project. Thank you everyone for watching our video. I hope you liked our innovative wa Humi water machine, which can help Qatar in addressing its water scarcity.